Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quanchua's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I would like to say a very warm welcome to you. Yes, dearest friends and family, today it is going to be a bunebunu on the menu. This is Ghana's green soup, authentically made with cocoyam leaves. This is popularly enjoyed with some fufu, but that doesn't mean that it's all you can have it with. You can have it with anything. An absolute delight. This smells so good, and I know for sure you're going to enjoy this. Come along with me and let's do some cooking. Well, fam, let me tell you the inspiration for this soup. So I received a package somewhere in April just before my birthday, a very surprise package. I had a delivery at my door. I couldn't imagine who could have sent me this, but I saw everything in here had the name Clonyobi. So I actually went on Instagram, looked Clonyobi app and tried to find out who sent me these. And she was like, you find out in the morning. It was late at that time in Ghana. But thank God I didn't have to wait the next day to know who sent it. When my husband came home from work, he actually knew who sent it because he was on it. He was in on it, I should say. And he told me it was from our friend Shalema. She's our friend that we made on Facebook. And she's been kind. She's been loving. She's done so much, tried to do so much for me. Thank you so much, dear. I appreciate the love so much. God bless you and your family. And I still owe you one. Thank you. So anyway, I have my tomatoes. I'm just using two tomatoes. I have half of a large onion also here in my pot already. I've removed the stock of my uh, cocoyam leaves or taro leaves that is how you will find it if you look for this in the Asian supermarket and now I'm just going to add it to my tomatoes and onion here add some water and bring it to a boil and Chloe B, thank you so much for such beautiful packaging all the pieces of fish that I received were intact nothing was broken thanks for the great packaging and for how well these fishes or pieces of fish are smoked I really really enjoyed them they're so good and so if you need to buy fish to bring here or have it shipped to you because we will be the one to contact i hope you saw her information on the packages this is not sponsored so here i have my super cool this is also yes one of my goodies that i received this is um salted fish it's almost like momone so more like kobe uh, it is salty but it is so good the fragrance it adds to your food is just so good so i have two pieces here i'm just trying to make sure that it is very well washed as you saw i took off some big skills from it and i'm just going to make sure it is thoroughly washed i want the fragrance and aroma not the actual salt of it but a little bit of salt in it when you eat it is so good so you need a balance is all I'm trying to say. I've washed this stuff like three times and now I'm just going to pour some water on it now and then let this sit so it just gives off some more salt until I'm ready to add it to my soup. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and chop the other half of my onion. So actually I'm dicing it instead of blending it. So this is going the really, really traditional route. This is how soup used to be made. So I'm just dicing it going very, very authentic. And you could also blend it as I normally would do now, but I just felt like chopping it today. So my onion is chopped, my half of an onion. Uh, and I'm just going to transfer it onto a plate, set it aside so I can work on my crabs. So I have two blue crabs here. That is all I'm going to put in the soup. I'm just cutting them up so it looks like I have a lot of crabs in here. And I'm using this knife that I received from Mercy Cookware. This is from her Obapa set. Very, very strong, very sharp and very good for what I'm doing. Thank you so much, Leah. She tells me she has stock in Ghana, and definitely if you're here in the US or in Canada, you can also order from her. And she's Ghanaian, so please support her sister. So my contemporary or cocoyam leaves, or tear leaves, if that's how you would want to call it, is cooked at this point. It doesn't take that much time to cook. All you need is about five minutes. And once it starts to look like it's wilting like this, that's when you know it's done. You don't want it to overcook, otherwise it's going to lose this beautiful green color. And so now I'm going to just bring it out of the pot, transfer it into a dish, and I'm going to add some ice. You could also use some ice water just so that it stops the cooking process because I really want to have this soup very green and beautiful. 
just like anybody would want to have it so i have here my pig feet this is actually not salted ideally you would want to use the salted one per contour so i have a few pieces of smoked guinea fowl that i've also added so i, I only added two pieces i should say I, i've added my snails just a little bit of everything you just want all the flavors to come into play in this soup i have my salted mutton so this is what we call the jiawari that is so good smells so good I have my uh, my crabs washed, added them on here, some smoked herrings, popularly called amane, just tiny pieces, that's all I could find, but yeah, we're looking for the flavors, and I've added my diced onions as well, just spreading it around, and since I'm not blending my ingredients, I had some blended, already blended garlic and ginger that was in my freezer, so I've added a few pieces, about a teaspoon of each, some salt, quite a small amount of salt because you have to remember that the salted mutton I have in here has a lot of salt so I don't want my soup to end up being salty added some water just swelled it around and I'm going to start cooking my soup at this point so for this soup I'm going to be blending my tomatoes onion pepper and some turkey berries separately and that is how I'm going to start my soup let this cook all the way and then when it's almost done I'm going to blend my spinach and add it to it that is how I'm going to achieve that beautiful green color and this is thanks to all of you here my first video that I made of Ibnubunu I got a lot of uh, suggestions on how to get my soup to look very vibrant green and I am actually taking all the tips that I received from you so thank you thank you so much KK fam like I say sometimes I am here to share but I'm also here to pick all the nuggets that you have to offer me I appreciate every single one of you thank you thank you thank you and if you are watching and you are not subscribed please 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 consider subscribing join the KK fam give this video a thumbs up for me and keep encouraging me to bring you more of such good content so my ingredients are blended now and I've poured them over my meat. They are just about partially cooked, not cooked anywhere close to being done. But it is fragrant. You just wanted to start off your uh, your meat by trying to steam it or just cook it partially for it to wake up all that fragrance. So we have that going on now. I've added a little bit of water here just to thin out my soup. It's going to be a long process. It's going to be filled to the brim by the time this is done, of course. And whilst that is going, I'm going to start making my fufu. And I'm actually just showing him just a snippet. So it's cassava and plantains. I'm going to peel, cut them into pieces, blend, and actually prepare it in the microwave. You could also do it on the stovetop. Um, very simple and very good way for you to enjoy your soup. So our soup base has been simmering away for about half hour now very gently as you can see it has reduced quite a, a bit in its amount and at this point it is the perfect time to add in my smoked fish so I've washed my adrenalises the ohineba and uh, some akwebi that I received I also have added my super cool in here now and these are smoked mackerel that I actually made at home so very well seasoned all already cooked so all these going here won't take too long for them to get cooked in here and soft enough and introduce their flavors as well so I just added them here covered it up and blended my kokoyam leaves just look at how beautiful how green this is and I'm going to just be adding this right away into my soup these have been in here just about the whole time I was blending my ingredients for about just two minutes now. They've already softened up a little bit. I've added my blended spinach, rinsed out my blender. At this point, you can tell that this part could have been a little bare. This is an eight quart pot. I probably should have used a 10. But we are going to make do. I'm just going to make sure that I'm very gentle so I don't spill the contents in here. into Misawa with the Boko Boko Steris Association. You can see at this point the kind of obstacles I have here. You don't want to over stir your soup because you're gonna break everything, the fish especially. So I have my peppers in my soup now for pop of color and for some spice for us the grown-ups. I've had a few questions even from my own sister-in-law as to why I leave the stock of my peppers on. 
I actually leave the stock on just because I don't want the heat to leave the peppers into the soup. I want the heat to be retained for us later on when we want to squish it into our soup. You could trim it, just leave a little piece of the stock. I just don't mind having it look like that. Or if it's for people who can all tolerate the heat, then of course you can remove the stock. I also added some okra because yes, in Kuma dear won kwainuma emani ko yepa, you know. So anyway, our soup has been just simmering away for about 10 minutes. All my ingredients here at this point are softened. The okra is softened. I just tasted for salt. I wanted to not add any salt until the very last minute because that supaku is infusing, transmitting, just delivering, giving off, whatever you want to call it. It's doing that with its salt here and all that fragrance and flavor. But I needed just a little bit of salt. So I've added that, trying to stir it around in this uh, very loaded, obstaculated soup. <laughs> Is that even a term? Obstaculated <laughs> soup. And at this point, I think the taste is perfect. I've tasted it. The salt is perfect. And I'm going to just turn off the heat of my soup. At this point, I don't want it to cook any further. I don't want to lose that beautiful green color that I've achieved. Thanks to all of you for the tips. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So our area fufu is set. Look at this soup. Look at this. The fragrance hitting our nose right now. That smell of that super cool in here is just calling my name. I know that you are going to enjoy this if you try this. This is the real taste of home. Look at that beautiful, vibrant color. Thanks so much for doing this with me. Thank you so much for the love and support. I truly appreciate every single one of you. And if this is your first time watching me, my name is Kwan Chua. Making simple, replicable meals like this is what truly makes my heart happy. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. Please like and share this video. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.